Contrast Security is the leader in application security testing and runtime application self-protection. Contrast Security combines the best approaches of static, dynamic, and interactive application security testing, known as SAS, DAST, and IAS, along with RASP, into one single platform. With the rise in new development paradigms such as Agile and DevOps, along with adoption of cloud, containers, and microservices, Contrast provides near real-time, uh, extremely accurate, and always-on application security across your entire application portfolio. The goal of Contrast is to make software self-protecting so it can defend itself for, from vulnerabilities and attacks. The way Contrast works is Contrast infuses security into applications through the entire application stack from the runtime all the way to the custom code and then watches for data flow to figure out vulnerabilities in your code. The two products that Contrast has are Contrast Assess, which is the application security uh, testing product, along with Contrast Protect, which is a runtime apps, uh, application self-protection or RASP solution. Uh, with these two solutions put together in one single console, uh, you can secure your applications, you can look at vulnerabilities as well as protect them, uh, protect your applications against attacks in real time. Contrast integrates across your entire uh, development lifecycle uh, from development all the way to, uh, to your production environments, uh, making sure that you can integrate application security into your uh, processes uh, with tools such as Slack, HipChat, or Maven, or Jenkins, or some of your build tools, all the way to QA and even to production uh, with uh, integrations with SIM platforms such as Splunk, for example. We strongly believe that uh, Contrast works best when it's integrated into all different environments across all the different instances of applications. Uh, research shows that uh, fixing vulnerabilities early on in the development lifecycle, uh, preferably in development, uh, reduces the costs involved by almost a factor of 10. So with that being said, let's take a look at the Contrast platform today and look at how uh, Contrast can find vulnerabilities in libraries and custom code, uh, help you view in, uh, an inventory of libraries across applications and environments, and finally, protect your applications from attacks in real time. Let us now log into the Contrast console here. Uh, as soon as you log in, you see a dashboard which shows you a grade for your applications along with the vulnerabilities as well as attacks on uh, your applications. It also gives you a list of all the high-risk applications right here. So if you were to look at the whole life cycle of an application, the first step is when an application is brought to life and is deployed. So within Contrast, you can now add an application into the Contrast console and instrument this with the Contrast agent, which then has sensors uh, into the application which can look at the data flowing through and then figure out if there are vulnerabilities and then report them back to the Contrast console. So once the application has been added to Contrast, it shows up right here on uh, the Contrast uh, Team Server console. Uh, there's a grade here as well as uh, the list of, uh, or the number of vulnerabilities which this application has. Uh, drilling down into one of these applications, uh, we see that it's actually deployed across three environments, development, QA, as well as production. On development and QA, SAS is turned on, which is why we see vulnerabilities here. And then on production, uh, we have protect turned on, uh, so it shows a number of attacks, uh, both exploited as well as blocked, on uh, this specific application. Uh, so contrast shows more detail than any pen test or any other product in the market. And the results, as you'll see very soon, are extremely simplified and uh, very easy to make sense of by anybody. So clicking on vulnerabilities here brings us a list of all the different vulnerabilities which exist in this application. I can go in and click on one of these, uh, say a SQL injection, and we'll see that it, uh, Contrast actually pieces together the entire request to show you how exactly this data flows through uh, from the input all the way to the SQL. Uh, we also give uh, details on how to fix this and also provide a quick uh, 
HTTP overview, request overview, so that this request can then be replayed uh, when uh, you need to take a look at uh, this specific vulnerability and the potential attack that uh, could occur as a result of this. Since contrast instruments the applications with sensors and looks at this data flow in real time, uh, the number of false positives are extremely minimal and the results are uh, highly accurate with contrast. Now that we've seen the vulnerabilities, the other thing which contrast can show is also the libraries which uh, exist inside the application. This could be third-party libraries as well as custom libraries uh, which are a part of uh, any application. Again, these are graded and uh, customers and enterprises can also set uh, policies on the versions of uh, libraries which you need to use or should not be using as a developer in your organization. Finally, on contrast assess, there's also the live view uh, where uh, since contrast is looking at the data flow of uh, inside the application, it can actually figure out the architecture of the application in real time and then show it to uh, AppSec admins on the console here uh, to make use of. So that's a quick view of contrast assess. Uh, let's take a look at contrast protect now. Uh, Contrast Protect allows you to look at attacks taking place on your uh, applications, but also uh, Contrast can actually protect your applications in real time against vulnerabilities and attacks which actually are taking place on uh, this application. So in this case, uh, this is the attack monitor page which lists out all the different attacks across different applications on a team server. I could pick a single attacker, for example, uh, based on IP address, or I could filter down to a specific uh, type of attack, say a SQL injection in this case, which then brings up all the different attacks which were SQL injections on my applications. Let's go into the policies now to see how this can actually be set in contrast. On the policy management screen, uh, you can see that for assessment, uh, you could enable or disable specific rules for uh, tracking on contrast. So say, for example, uh, your enterprise has a different application or a different system by which command injections are taken care of, then uh, you can ensure that contrast does not flag those as positives on uh, contrast console. Similarly, uh, we also have security controls, which ensure that we can look at specific lines of code uh, where uh, you have a security already in place for specific vulnerabilities and then mark them as such. On the protection side, uh, across development, QA and production, you can set specific rules uh, for uh, actions to be taken when there are specific attacks on your environment. Similarly, when there's a new CVE which comes out as defined by MITRE, for example, or any other vulnerability which you find in your own code, uh, you could quickly go in and either set a virtual patch or a CVE shield to protect your applications against those attacks and vulnerabilities uh, in real time. Similarly, log enhancers provide you a very simple way by which you could enhance the logs, logging of your application without the need for uh, the development request uh, from the application security team. So that was a quick overview of contrast um, security across both contrast assess and contrast protect. The unified platform can detect vulnerabilities and protect against attacks in real time with extremely high accuracy, making applications highly secure. Welcome to the era of self-protecting software.